from the Westin Bonaventure Hotel in Los Angeles, California. Soap Central, celebrating 25 years of Daytime Emmy Awards red carpet coverage, presents the 50th annual Daytime Emmy Awards red carpet with your host, Dan Kroll. We've both been to more than a couple daytime Emmys. Yeah. Uh, have you ever seen a red carpet like this? It is sort of wild. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's indoor. I don't know that I really remember that. I came in the car with Trisha Cassidy, who plays Nina, and she said, do you remember the Radio City days? So, you know, that was crazy. I mean, they're all fun. It's sometimes nice to have it switched up because you don't know what to expect. We're all glancing around, and, you know, if we're not on the same show, we're all fans of each other. So it's, it's fun no matter what. Any particular fun memories of those Radio City? music? Uh, well, I mean, for Young and Restless, it was like a field trip. We all got to hop on a plane, stay in a hotel. There were multiple nights of parties. It was crazy. And, you know, such a celebration. We we would win all the time. <laughs> or, you know, every third year, maybe. That's, that, that seemed like all the time. And it made it worth our while. And if we didn't win, it didn't matter, because we got a trip to New York. And it was just, it was so much fun. And a totally different mood, a totally different vibe, I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, sure, we would, the cast would go to kind of these underground uh, New York clubs at night because... It's New York. Yeah, it was New York, and right, or we people would be at the theater, whatever. It was just completely different. We were we were pulled out of our our world and brought over there, and yeah, it was just you know you had to pack so many outfits. Like it was a it was a big deal. Something else to reminisce about, but a lot less of a time span in 30 seconds or less. Everything that has happened to your character in the last year. Oh, in the last year? Well, I mean, I have to just jump to the most important part, and that is reconnecting with Danny Romola. So my character, Crick and Danny, were very much, uh, you know, together forever, married uh, back 30 years ago. And now we are back together again, or so it seems. We always have this character, Phyllis, looming over us. So, um, yeah, watch out. So, yeah, it's just, it's great because the fans have said, like, we've waited 30 years for this. So those diehard fans that truly have stuck with us this whole time, like, it's exciting. He made the sauce. He made the Sauce. He made the sauce. It was pretty damn good. I don't know what's in that sauce, but it's good. It's like it's like crack. <laughs> Not that crack's good, but it keeps you wanting more, I guess. So I'm told. Yeah. Uh, do you have any questions? I don't know who I'm going to be speaking to next, oh. but do you have any questions that I would, that you would like me to oh. ask oh. them? Oh. Oh. Um, um, I can give you what, the last one that was asked from someone. Yeah. Favorite holiday song, and for bonus points, sing it. Oh well, that's tough. I'm. That's not for me. Everyone would pick "All I Want for Christmas Is You" by Mariah Carey, but no one can dare try and hit those notes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say uh, after the show, what cocktail are you gonna have? Is that boring? Uh, no. Hey, listen. Anything is possible. Thanks for coming by. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you.